What up guys, your boy BZ back again with a quick video. Yesterday I posted a video um, kind of telling you the differences in uh, various t-shirts and something that raised the question was what is better to print on uh, cotton polyester blend uh, or 100% cotton. There's also a few other options. Another popular option is a tri-blend which is cotton, polyester, and rayon. And people are kind of confused about this with good reason. Um, there are differences between the three types. Well, there's a shitload of types, but the main three types that people print on. Um, and this is pretty much the difference. Uh, when you have 100% cotton, if it is not pre-shrunk and uh, you dry it on a high setting, the shirt can shrink up to a full size. If you have 100% cotton that is pre-shrunk and you dry it on a higher setting, you'll still get like the average shrinkage for shirts, but it's always like a temporary shrinkage. Like say when you wear the same pair of jeans like three days in a row and they just feel baggy like after the third day, but then you wash them, they get to be like tighter again. And then as you wear them, they get looser. It's just like the nature of fabrics. Um, the difference between like cotton polyester blend is um, they're pretty much all pre-shrunk. If you dry them on a higher setting, it's not going to shrink uh, really. There's, there's um, however, like the cotton polyester blend, there are like a little bit of breathability issues. A 100% cotton shirt, like a quality one, is going to be a lot more airy and uh, it's going to feel a lot better. It's going to uh, allow you to breathe more. Uh, good for the summertime. A cotton poly blend isn't going to breathe as much. You're probably going to sweat more if it's really hot outside. And uh, they're good for heat retention. So a lot of your sweatshirts and hoodies are actually cotton poly blends because you want to keep that heat in and not let it out. Uh, another thing about uh, cotton poly blends, they can be as soft as um, a 100% cotton shirt. But if you buy the cheaper ones, it's gonna be really, really rough because essentially polyester is like a plastic. So instead of having the natural fibers, you're, you're mixing in plastic fibers. So the cheap ones are gonna feel like plastic, essentially. Uh, try blend shirts. A, a few brands do this. It's, the more expensive brands do this. The American Apparels, the Alternate Apparels, um, I think uh, Gilden offers a tri-blend and uh, there's a few other ones but um, essentially it's cotton polyester and rayon so you have two different plastic fibers in those shirts essentially what that does is um, those shirts tend to be a little stretchier they are as breathable as like a 100% cotton shirt and they don't shrink and the rayon material actually is, is really smooth. So when you feel the shirt, it actually feels as soft to the touch as like 100% cotton. Um, I've done a lot of tri-blend shirts in the past. They are expensive, so you usually have to charge more to the customer. Uh, I kind of don't like charging the customers more unless it's there's a reason, you know. So when I do the tri-blends, sometimes it'll be like $24.99 for uh, Epion Royal customers. Um, and I don't like to go over the twenty four ninety nine price tag. Most of my shirts are uh, 100% cotton. Heather blends are always cotton, cotton and polyester because you can't have that heathered look without the polyester. That's what gives it that speckled look. Um, but yeah, cotton and uh, cotton poly blends always charge $20. I, I think that's a fair price and I, I like to keep people uh, happy with money in their pockets. And honestly, I'd rather people buy more shirts from me rather than buy fewer shirts that are just higher priced. I want you to get a good deal. Um, but yeah, essentially, uh, when you're starting off, just go 100% cotton. And if you have the money, if you are a brand that is established, because I know some established brands do watch this, uh, go with the tri-blends, feel it out. It's a really good... Um, kind of premium upgrade that you can offer to your customers as well as like the the kind of basic blends but yeah guys this is my video for today it's saturday right now i'm uploading this right now single take no edits just giving you kind of like my raw uh knowledge 
Hopefully this benefits you. If it does benefit you, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. I, I was looking at my analytics the other day and I realized that like 80% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed and that, that's kind of shitty because uh, like I give a lot of information. Even in the videos that, say you come to the videos just for the brand advice, you see the vlogs, you see the other things, and you're like, eh, I'm not into that because I want brand advice. You guys are missing out on tons of information because even if the video isn't titled, this is how to run a brand, I'm still giving you tons of information in those videos. Um, just seeing the ins and outs of what I got going on, it can inspire you to do something differently or just motivate you more. If I'm traveling, if I'm doing a vlog, if I'm meeting with these people or that people, or we have like some kind of celebrity in the video, it's really gonna benefit you. Um, and it, the video doesn't have to say, oh, this is how you get rich quick, <laughs> because it's still giving you information. So if you like these videos, dig through the other videos and um, see if there's something you like. Not only that, but I actually have a playlist and it has like a ton of brand information. Just watch the playlist. Like if you're at your office or your work or you're driving, just put up, put the playlist on and listen to it. You don't even got to watch it because you don't like literally need to look at me. You can listen to it and get just as much information as if you're staring at this screen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still on my streak of video every single day. I skipped a few, but I'm back. If you guys appreciate that, let me know. Stay royal. It's your boy, B, boy BZ. I'm out. It's late. Well, it's not late. But your boy BZ, I'm out. Stay royal. Peace.